live from Newton Abbott. Well, welcome back to Newton now, but no one wants to be predictable with Matt Chapman shouting and screaming all the time. Let's do something different. I've been the valets piece because what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here because uh, David Cross, as we were saying the other day, was riding at Ballin Robe last night, a horse called Mr. Benedictine. And he's actually, <laughs> look at this. Oh, my God. Keep that bucket. Do keep that bucket there. For God's sake, Crossy. You've been a busy lad. Yeah, um... I was over in Ballon Robe last night, <coughs> just got in at half seven this morning and um, straight down here to do 10-5 in the first race today. How much have you got to take off? Uh, just a couple of pounds, I've been watching it, so two pounds off, so it's not too bad. And it was lovely Brenda Duke having a winner as well. Bob Cooper apparently backed the horse, about 14-1 to one or something, wasn't it? Yeah, Bob Cooper helped him out. He had, Brendan had an open day on Sunday and Bob Cooper helped him out. He did a piece with ATR and that and... Um, that's why you probably told him to back it. I think they were on a 33 to 1. They, they got a right few quid out of it, and the horse absolutely bolted up as only a passenger. Oh, no. How much longer you got to sit in here? Uh, probably another hour. I'm just reading the paper nice and steady away. Anyway. <laughs> got any chances aren't, today? Aren't, aren't you glad the bucket's here? <laughs> <laughs> right, good luck, Crossy. There's David Cross. See, there we go. That's what happens in the day of a jockey. Fantastic. If Luke stayed in there a bit longer, he'd just be left with a pair of shoes, I suppose. Let's go to uh, Newmarket now and see the mighty Frankel going through his paces. Quite relaxed paces. We can see him uh, at work. Always worth looking. The best horse on, on, on planet Earth. There he is, the second of those two in the blue jacket. And of course, uh, he'll be one of the, well, he'll be the star on the first day of Royal Ascot running in the Queen Anne. But uh, in great form and uh, just a couple of weeks to go until Royal Ascot. Everything is absolutely perfect for him. So that's uh, Frankel. Now, the Hillary Needler is the big race at uh, Beverly tonight. Terrific two-year-old Phillies race. Big field as well. 13 runners for the race there. And you can see Bailey's Jubilee 5-2. to two. Very interesting one for Bill Turner. Judy in disguise, who, who won pretty well last time. Beat a horse called All on Red of Toby Coles and beat that horse by three lengths. And she's gone on to win.